Hey everyone, in this video we will learn to use a DAX function called use relationship and I'll give you a bit of an overview as to this other uh, time or in what scenarios we can use it. So in this uh, data model I've got the fact internet sales table and it is linked to the dim date table and it has got three relationships. So um, if you go to manage relationships on the home tab you can see that the fact internet sales table is linked to due date, order date and then ship date. But the order date is the active relationship as you can see that it has been set that way. Now if you go here and when we try to slice it by the calendar year for example, so you can see that it is slicing by the order date. So I've already done a slicer on another model. Let me go there and you can see this one. So this is the order date slicer and you can see these amounts will match what is uh, in here. So this is the slicer by order date. Now, if I go into manage relationship in the data model, let's just go into manage relationships. And if I change the active relationship from order date to due date, and I'll close this. If I go here again, you can see this amount has changed. And then if I toggle, you will see that this is by due date. So this amount matches. So if if you want to see certain values we need to keep changing the active and active relationship and that becomes very cumbersome so what we can do is let me just set it back to order date first and i'll just quickly show you again that the amounts would have changed so it has gone back to this which is matching now we'll use the use relationship uh dax function so what we, it does is it specifies which uh how to uh which relationship to use for a calculation. So let's say I want to uh, find the, so I've already written the DAX and we'll, uh, let's go to this model and I want to, this one's filtering by order date. So now let's say I want to uh, filter by ship date. So I can go here, click new measure and I'll explain the DAX to you. So let's just copy this here. I'll copy and paste this one over here. And I'm creating sales amount ship date. So it's uh, going to show me the sales amount by ship date. And I'm saying calculate sum of fact internet sales amount and use the relationship ship date and dim date. So now if I hit enter, it'll create this measure. And I'll just drag this measure. I can't do it for now. Let me select the table first. So now we've created the sales amount uh, by ship date measure. So we'll just drag it here. And you can see that it has got the sales amount. And now if I toggle, not between the, let me just pick this out. So if I look at the ship date, you can see that uh, the ship uh, date matches this. And now we'll do a due date one as well. So we'll need to make a few changes to this one. So I'll just copy this as it is. And I'll go to the other table and I'll click on new measure. And I'll just copy and paste this, but here we will call this due date. And here we will, in place of ship date, we'll change this to order to due date, sorry. And we'll hit enter. And create a uh, due date, um, due amount, sorry, sales amount, due date. And hit enter. And now I'll just get this sales amount due date and add it here. And I'll just maximize this. So you can see the sales amount due date, this amount matches with what I've got here, sales amount by due date 6,852,489, which is the same amount. And the last year is also the same. So essentially, if you've got too many uh, inactive relationships and you still want to uh, create a calculation, you can use a use relationship function and you can force a calculation on a relationship in Power BI. It's a fairly handy feature um, and I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. I'll leave a link to this function name in or the, this function information in the video notes as well so you can uh, have a look.
at this function. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.